Hi, uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, a few scripts that I wrote for MPB player uh, that basically uh, allow you to loop a part of the video that you're watching in a bit of an, kind of more, uh, in an easier and more uh, fine-tuned way than you would be able to do if uh, you just used the built-in uh, MPV's uh, functionality. So let's jump right in. It's going to make way more sense if I just show you rather than uh, try to explain it in words. So in this video, we're going to take a look at um, the following scripts, uh, AB loop set points dot, uh, dot Lua, then AB loops seek points dot Lua, and play before and after dot Lua. And in the next one, we're going to take a look at this AB loop to EDL segment dot Lua, which actually you can basically you can take a segment of a video and you can put it in a special specially formatted text file and then that text file will be essentially like an edit of a video or like a multiple videos you can concatenate like parts of different videos in that text file and then just play it as though it was a separate file but uh, it will just like take information from different videos it's pretty interesting you can almost use mpv player as a video editor I mean not almost it kind of, kind of you can use it like a video editor obviously not like as sophisticated as something like Caden live or anything but uh, still uh, can be pretty interesting and useful but we'll go into that in the next video but um, in this one let's go over the uh, these uh, loop scripts Basically, the first one is set points. Uh, like the name suggests, it allows you to set uh, the uh, the start and end and the end point of the AB loop. So, uh, before we talk about the script, let's just take a look what MPB player uh, does by default. Uh, as far as uh, uh, the AB loop goes, uh, open data. So if I um, play a video and then I press the L key, it sets uh, the start point. Then I let the video play a little bit longer. Explain simply. And then I can press L again, and that will set the end point. And then if I start uh, playing it, it will loop. Explain simply. Explain simply. Explain simply. So that's, and then uh, if I press the same L key again, it clears the AB loop. So that's the default functionality that MPV player has. But uh, like uh, in certain cases that might not be very convenient. You might prefer to have separate keys to set the, the start point and the end point, uh, and uh, then uh, to clear, clear the loop with a separate key and things like that. So let's go over what the script uh, can do um, uh, like bit by bit. So uh, the key bindings, let's uh, take a look at these two. So the colon key and the double quote key. It's the same as semicolon plus or shift plus semicolon and uh, single quote plus semicolon respectively. or sorry single quote shift plus single quote um, respectively so these are um, the keys to set um, um, the start and the end points of the loop and you can obviously remap them to whatever you want but these are the defaults so if i press the colon it starts the loop and play then uh, double quote to end the loop and uh, now we have a loop. So Please play. Please play. Um, now um, you can view what the loop uh, loops uh, start and end points are by pressing this uh, uh, pipe key, which is the same as shift um, backslash. So that is just to quickly view what uh, the loop points are. It will show you the time codes for those. Now, if you want to clear the loop, 
that's alt plus uh, pipe so that's uh, the same as alt shift backslash that clears the loop um, so you can also uh, loop a subtitle line so that can be very helpful uh, for language learners for example if you want to listen over and over again to uh, to one uh, line um, and you do that uh, by pressing alt uh, shift l so that's a capital l so that's shift l uh, like alt shift l loops uh, the current subtitle line every second we create huge amounts of data some see just a lot of numbers every second we create huge amounts of data some see just a lot of numbers every second so that's what it does um you can also set uh, just the a point to the start of the current subtitle or just the b point uh, point to the end of the current subtitle so that's also possible it's pretty self-explanatory i'm not going to show that but um so we've gone over most of these keys the last one is a b loop toggle and that's also something that you can like easily do with the default functionality so i wrote this uh, i included this in the script basically capital l that's shift l um toggles the loop on and off so um so we have this loop we right now. We create huge amounts of data. Some see just a lot of numbers. Every second we create huge amounts of data. So maybe I'm tired of like listening to it, or, or I'm done listening to it, but I don't want to clear it. Uh, I want to keep the start and the end point. So I can press Shift L, and it will show you that AB loop is off. Some see just a lot of numbers. At the same time, the data represents our daily but now it's like disabled in the video just plays normally the experiences every second but if i press it again it goes back to the loop seat. so this is basically the uh, most of the functionality of this script you can also uh, change the behavior of this uh, toggle slightly so you can uh, set toggle seek back uh and toggle seek forward so like basically if it so like it went went over the end point of the loop uh by default it will seek back to the start when you uh, press the toggle key so um like i just showed so like i, I played past the end point but then i pressed uh shift l again and it just went back to the loop and continued looping uh you can also uh, enable toggle seek forward so that like if the if um, the the playhead is before the start point of the loop then it, as soon as you enable uh, the, as soon as you toggle it on it would also jump to the beginning of the loop again but by default it is uh, set to false so uh, if you don't know how to set options on these scripts uh, check out um, uh, video number three and this playlist so this playlist is still not uh, complete because I only have like two uh, videos here which are my older videos about NPV check them out if you want to learn more about the player itself uh, I go in uh, quite a bit of detail about the usage and all of that but uh, the video number three here uh, is, is gonna is gonna be there when you're gonna be watching this um, and uh, in there I explain how to set options and how to configure the scripts by either using um, a config file if you want to set them permanently so that like it uh, the option is set to whatever you want every time you open uh, MPV player or you can set it on, com on the command line to just like do it for that particular run of the player so like I explain all of that in that video so go ahead and check it out if you haven't um, but yeah this is basically it for this script so let's move on to the next one the next one uh, is um, called a b loop seek points so this basically what it does uh, is very simple it simply uh, moves the playhead to either the beginning or the end point to either to either the start or the end point of the loop um, 
so that's control semicolon and control uh, single quote uh, that are the uh, the key bindings and so if I press control semicolon it goes like to the beginning of the loop and control here like to the beginning of the loop and uh, control single quote goes to the end of the loop so that's our subtitle line that is still looped there so it goes to uh, to the beginning and the end of that looped subtitle line so th this is all this one does all right so this is it about this one now let's talk about the last one which is uh, play before and after dot lua and this basically plays a uh, an interval before and after the current playhead position so that can be useful if you're working with a loop um, there's actually like a good uh, example here so like if I loop this first subtitle line let me put on my headphones so that I can hear what's playing so um, now let's loop the subtitle line data explain simply data explain so you can hear that the beginning of it is cut off so i can press Control semicolon to go to the beginning of the line and i can uh, go back a few frames by pressing the comma key so comma and uh, and period uh, are um, go back one frame or go forward one one frame that's the default default mp functionality i should probably disable the loop for this actually toggle it off and uh, even though if the loop is toggled off i can still press control semicolon to go to the start point and then i let me go back to like like one two three four five i don't know six seven eight frames or something so let, uh, let's play open data explain simply so uh that just played three seconds uh ahead uh three seconds after the current playhead position so this is, is not looping right now it just played played three seconds ahead so you can watch uh, like the time over here open data explain simply and then went back to the same position as it was in the beginning so this is just like for editing the loop basically um so now if i enable the loop and uh, set the start point open data explain simply open data explain simply open data explain simply so now it's looping normally uh or like not normally but uh, with the adjusted uh, uh start point it's not like at the beginning of the subtitle line but like a few frames uh, earlier so um let's see so like the rest of these what they do is pretty much clear that is just like play five seconds before uh or five seconds after and uh 10 seconds before or 10 seconds after or whatever you can figure in your uh, config file uh, or on command on the command line or however you set those options so uh, this is what that does um, open data in commute routes and parking tickets using so like uh, three seconds before in commute routes and parking tickets using and pause again or like three seconds after open data we have a chance to find out and it goes back again and the same for the other uh intervals so so yeah this is what this script does and uh uh this is pretty much it uh for this video this is what i wanted to cover here in the next one we're gonna uh, take a look at uh, the AB loop to EDL uh, 
segment script which will allow us to edit videos with mpv player it's pretty interesting you can even like render out a video um, from this edl file and it will be just like an edited video and you you only have to use the mpv player for this so we're gonna like take a look at how you can use these loops uh, to make those uh, edits uh, in the ideal file, create those uh, segments of, of the files that you want to be played. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically uh, this is going to be it for this video. I hope you found it valuable uh, and I'll see you in the next one.